Hey everyone, today we're going to install nukes three different ways and try to figure out which way works the best. Alright, how's it going? So uh, today we're going to install these nukes. I'm going to do it three different ways because I've read that there's three different ways that you can do it. You could either do it all in the center, all on one side, or even checkerboarding. Personally, I don't care for checkerboarding, but we'll try. We'll see what it works. And then I'm going to do another video a week from now to see how they grow. And then another week, we'll do another video so we can see which one actually works the best. So this is a nuke. This one's five frames. It's got uh, probably three frames of brood, maybe one frame of grow and one frame for uh, honey, pollen, stuff like that. So let me move this. Alright. Let's give them a little bit of smoke. You don't need to do a whole lot. You don't need to go crazy with them. That's about all. Alright, so this one I'm gonna do all on one side. I'm gonna start over here, work our way over. Take these out. All right, here we go. So I'm not really going to look for the queen. I don't really care if I see some eggs, then she probably looks good. The guy I bought them from the company, he said these things are really good, really good quality, so we'll see. Yeah, they look good. All right. So this one has a whole bunch of eggs, a little bit of honey. Pattern looks good. All right. So I'll put this one right here. So when I do find the, uh, the honey frame, I'll put that on the end, because that's the way they like it. That one was brewed. Oh, that one is solid. That looks great. Definitely looks good. These bees are calm. Stick that in there. Go next one. That one also looks good. All right, I like it. Be careful when you put these in. You start smushing bees, they start getting angry. All right. Frame number four. What a brood. Looks good. And there's your queen. She is right there. If you can see it. See her running. Right there. Right there. <clears throat> and this one looks like it's the uh, got a lot of honey. So we'll put this one right here. First one, right there. <clears throat> Move all of them over. Right. So the bees are just left 
you just tap it on the ground. They don't really care. And you just dump them. There you go. That's it. So we'll take these next frames. Put them right here. Make sure you have no gaps. Because they will fill those up with propolis. When I was looking at my queen, <laughs> I think she flew off, but we'll see. We'll check in a couple of days or a couple of hours. If you see bees in a little spot over there, that's where she went. More than likely, she'll come back. She'll sense her hive. If not, they got plenty of eggs. They'll just make another one. So I'm not too concerned. And I got 10 hives that were installing today. So I have a lot of resources where I could give them to supplement them. So they can uh, make their own queen. So we'll go ahead and close this up. I'm going to feed all the bees. I got sugar water with the bucket with the screen on it. Give it a little squeeze. Flip it over. There you go. Probably could put this on top. And put my lid. All right, so I got 10 hives I'm going to do. So I'm going to do three on one side like that. Next one, I'm going to do the same thing. Next one, the same thing. The reason why I want to do three, because each colony is going to be a little bit different. Obviously, this one's going to be different because my queen just possibly went away. But we'll see. She may come back. But uh, yeah, I'll do three this way because all colonies are going to be a little bit different. Some's not going to be as fast as another. So we'll just do it this so it'll give you a better idea of which one works the best. So I'm just going to mark on here, put an S for side. So we know next. So I put sugar water in there so they grow quicker. So we'll see how that works. Do next one. This one's got a lot of bees in it. A lot of bees. So we'll take this, move it over here. I got some ants in this one. Great. We'll do another video one day of how to get rid of ants. A strong colony will take care of it themselves. So right after I do this, I'll prepare my stands for uh, ant patrol. All right, take these out. It's not a whole lot of ants. I'm not too concerned about it. All right, we'll do the first one. Oh, if you're new to beekeeping, this is a hive tool. It's like a must. You must get one of these. I like the ones with the hook better than the ones with the little bend in the bottom. This one works best for me. I like it. All right, carefully pull this out, case the queens on this one. I didn't smoke them this time. I don't think they really need it. They're not very uh, aggressive at all. Jeez, right. yeah, these these hives are good. Do that. All right, there's five frames. Then put the other frames in there. I like to use wax per personally. That's what I like to use. I have used plastic. They work good too, but for some reason, I just like the wax better. 
just the wire with the hook in it. No reason, just what I've always used. All right, there you go. Make sure all your frames are pushed together. Put your lid on. All right, little squeeze, zip up. Don't knock that over. I forgot to put the bees in. There you go. All right, so I'm going to skip the next one just because you don't need to see the same thing over and over again. And then I'll do the next one for center. Let me adjust my camera real quick. Sorry, I'm using my phone. All right, that should be good. Eventually, I'll go ahead and get a camera and do everything right. <laughs> but all right now, all I got is the phone. All right, let's move this. This one's heavy, too. All right, sweet. No ants this time. That's good. All right, so this one's all going to go in the center. So, so I'll have the blanks on the outside and the five in the middle take a couple out just to give you some room to work open this up these bees are very calm i like these for once i got calm bees I'm happy about that it's not fun when you're working bees and you got bees trying to crawl up your shirt trying to sting you all over the place. I mean, I don't wear gloves. I don't like gloves. I find that wearing gloves, you're clumsy when you go in a hive. You're squeezing bees, squish, squishing them. They get mad. You got stingers all over your gloves. And I figure if you don't wear gloves, at least this was what I was told by the guy that get, got me started beekeeping. He says, if you don't wear gloves, you're more careful in where you put your hands and you tend not to squish very many bees. So I liked it. I uh, took a lot to try it out. But now that's all I do until I used to work my really uh, aggressive hives that I used to have. All right, this is the honey frame. So we'll put this on the outside right here. So also, if you're new, the bees will do number one and number two, pollen and honey. And number eight and ten, or nine and ten, just pollen and honey. And the rest will be brood. Almost every colony is the same they all do that and that queen probably flew back in that hive i'd imagine because if she would have went in that bush or in a tree all those bees would go in there and go with her so they all still orienting to that hive so i'd imagine she's still in there it will happen to you <laughs> trust me you will kill a queen on accident it will just happen. And the best thing is, whatever you do, the bees will fix. Especially if you have more than one colony. Yeah, these bees, you don't even need to smoke them. They're not in my face. It's great. I don't care for these frames. These are all plastic frames. I don't really like them. The first time I ever used them, I was I bought it at a state sale. A guy was a beekeeper and he had a trailer 
full. And I bought the entire trailer full of bee beekeeping equipment. And there was a lot of these. And the first time I used it, I put it in a hive, they built it up, they propolized it in the box. I pried it out, cracked it right in half. <laughs> so I gave away all the other ones that I had. It's probably 60 frames. I just put on marketplace, gone. Somebody came and got it. Hive looks great. Nothing wrong. Oh yeah, I'm liking it. So also, if you're new to beekeeping, look at your frames like this in the light. Look down at it like this. Try not to flip it up like that. You'll get honey, nectar, stuff, or nectar dripping out of it. Just not a good idea. It's a good practice to do it looking down on it. All right. Take this. Bounce them. There you go. Put the rest of the frames in there. You know what? I'll put my feeder buckets on them later. Right now, we'll just press on. We'll mark this one as center. Put a C. All right, so these next two will be centers. We'll do. I'll do that later. Now this one, I'll do checkerboarding. Let me reposition. All right, that should be good. All right, so this one, I'll actually show you what the nuke looks like when you open it up. All right, so when you open up a nuke, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to have... Let me try to get this. There you go. It is very sunny. It's hard to see everything. So that's it. You have bees everywhere. Bees are not aggressive, you see. Touch them and stuff, they don't care. Kind of nice. Set this back up. All right, let's do this. So this one's going to be checkerboarding. So checkerboarding is you put a blank, or first I'll probably start with a honey frame, and then a blank frame, and then another brood frame, blank frame, brood frame, blank frame, just like that checkerboarding. So let me go ahead and put this down. Over right here. It opens up and hopefully there's no ants all through it. Stupid Florida palmetto bugs. So a little quick background. Me, I've been doing this for about 10 years and uh, lived here in Florida for about six and the rest of the time has been in Tennessee where I started beekeeping. And so far, I'm really liking Florida. Don't have to worry about winters. Kind of nice. I'm in central Florida area. And this palmetto bug needs to go. Get out of here. There you go. Disgusting. All right, you will have palmetto bugs, especially if you live here in Florida, in your hives. All right, so first I'll start out with the uh, pollen frame and honey frame. Sorry. This one tends to be a little bit more flighty on me. Yep, this one. Yeah, that one looks good. So we'll go ahead and put this one on the outside. Kind of curious to see how this is going to work out. I'm doing this because I've read three different ways you can install them. I've only done from the side, that's it. And I've never seen anybody actually compare them and see which one works best. So it's gonna be kinda, kinda curious about how this is gonna work out. 
This is a solid brood, cowl capped brood. Wax frame. Come on, get away. Come on. Should have left the box up there. It's easier. This one's got a queen cell. Let me see what's going on here. Could be just a practice cell. Come on. Come on. All right, nothing in it. So I'll show you real quick. In case the queen's on here. I don't want her flying away again. So sometimes you'll get these. And that is... A queen cup and there's nothing in it if they wanted to replace the queen there will be something in it by now for sure guarantee something in there but right now there's nothing <clears throat> all right we'll put this one in there so so from when i understand the idea of the checkerboarding is that the bees don't like blank space in between their frames so I guess they try to rush and get that filled in as quick as possible. I don't doubt that it's going to be quicker than the other ways, but we'll find out. Like I said, I'm doing this three hives each. So you get a good idea of which one works better. Everybody looks good here. Carefully put her in there. Go ahead and put this one in there too. And when you buy a nuke, you are going to get the beekeepers older stuff, which is okay. Because they usually have thousands of hives and they do need to uh, replace their hives, their frames eventually. So this is how they do it. They sell nukes and they uh, give you their older stuff. Oh, they got one sting. Come on. Not bad. Only one. A blank. And the last one. We'll move all the frames over. All the way to the side. Put your last one in. Move them back over to the center. This one's a little bit more flighty and active. Which is fine. Make sure she's not in here. And she didn't fall off. She is not. Give him a little thump. Dump them in there. There you go. That is checkerboarding. Oh. CB on it for checkerboard. Okay, so there's three different ways. So now I got one more hive that I'll do. And this one has uh, already drawn comb. So that one's going to be a quicker growing one. So I figure I'll video it so you can see that too, see the progress. The benefits of having a hive that's uh, already got drawn brood. Here we go. Let me reposition over here. This is my bee yard. This is my first stand that I built. I did a horrible job. I used stuff that I had laying around the house and it bowed like crazy. Don't use one by sixes <laughs> like I did. I'm going to get my smoker just in case. All right. I think it's this one. I'll check real quick. Move this down here. All right, yeah, this is it. This one has John Comb already done. Some of it's a little eaten up from wax moths, but it'll be fine. I'm going to put these all in the center. And then, actually, you know what? I'm going to do it to the side because. I like it. I like sideways better. Put that one right here. Mm. 
move this. Eventually, I'll get more stuff for doing videos. But right now, it is what it is. Okay. I don't think I need to uh, smoke these. They seem fine. Like I said, when you do smoke them, I'll do it, show you again. Just give them a couple puffs. You don't need to give them 73 puffs. Just give them a little bit. All it does is simulate a forest fire. And then they start eating. Just to prepare for a forest fire. And the, just in case they have to leave in a hurry. That's it. No other reason. This one's got some capped honey. So we'll put that right here. Solid brood. So this is what you're going to see. This is a brood pattern. And then right here will be honey and pollen, usually around the out, outer edges. Go ahead and get a close up view. Watch my fingers. All right. So you can see that right here is going to be honey. Sometimes up here, over here too. And this is all cat brood. The cat brood is flat. If you had drone brood that was capped, it would be a bubble. It's a little bubble. And I don't see any of those to give you an example. Same thing over here. See right there? They got all their butts in the air. They're all down there eating because I smoked them. That's what they do. That's why you smoke them. A lot of people think it calms them down. It doesn't calm them down. They're preparing to leave. They need honey to make their comb. Oh my gosh, propolis. There's the queen. I'm gonna put her in so this one doesn't fly off like the other one did. <laughs> And of course, another plastic frame. Great. But you know what? I don't care. I'll eventually cycle it out. This one's got a lot of honey on it. And you know what? I'm going to do this. Put this over here. Because it's got a lot of honey on it. You don't want to put the honey frames in the middle because the queen likes to lay in the middle, right in there. If you do have a booming hive that doesn't have enough room, you will see brood on the outer frames. But ideally, you want it in the center. So that's pretty much it. All right, let me go ahead and shake these in there. Not very many. Just heard a rocket launch. Pretty sweet. Wife came out to yell, tell me there was a rocket launch. Missed it. All right, so let me readjust this real quick. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do today. So, sorry, I don't have any high tech stuff yet. So, that's pretty much it. So, next week, I will come back out in the yard and I'll check all these hives and see how they do. And then we'll, I'll video it so we can see, so we could actually tell which one actually works the best. I've been wanting to do these videos for a while now. So, I finally did it. My kids been talking me into it. They've been like, come on, come on, come on. So here I am. So if you like it, hit the like button. Please leave me a comment. Let me know if there is something you want me to try out. If you want me to try out a product or something that you don't know if you want to buy and you want to see if it works, let me know. Put a comment in there. 
I'll check it out. I'll buy it if it's unless it's something like a thousand bucks, and then eh, I'll probably get in trouble. But right now, my first video. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, and uh, yeah, leave me a comment, man. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to do. Want me to do? And if you see something that you didn't like, let me know. You know, I'm a. Uh, and anything helps me out too. I'm always learning. I'm doing 10 years. I mess up a lot. I messed up last year. That's why I'm buying these nukes. I had 16 hives. Got three. Now I'm about 10. Kind of hurt. But it is what it is. So, thank you.